Hi and welcome to the latest Fitness 15 with Sean Egan. Today what I'm going to do is focus on the core. Uh, it's a follow on from the core workout one that I uh, uploaded yesterday. We're going to do similar sorts of exercises like I said yesterday. Basically chop your legs, your arms, your head off. What is left is the core. Uh, it's working front sling, uh, front sling systems, the cross slings, the side slings and all the, all the key muscles around the core that are left after we chop the arms and legs off. You just need some space. It's going to be all floor based today. I'm still carrying my calf injury. I'm not really ready to do any full body uh, cardio type movements yet. So we can still have a really effective core workout, which will get the heart rate up as well as, well as tight into specific muscles. As before, we're going to do intervals around about 30 seconds with 15 seconds recovery. Some of them I'm going to do a little bit longer. Uh, what we're also going to incorporate today is moving at certain speeds. So as well as varying the load into the muscles, one of the things you can change is the speed that you complete movements at. Uh, so we're going to play around with those today. It's actually about 17 minutes this workout. Uh, so we're going to start off nice and easy, get the body warm and then progress into the workout. So we're going to start coming down onto the floor. I just want to make sure that you've got enough room that you can lie fully extended. Uh, might be sideways on, diagonally on, doesn't matter as long as you obviously can see what I'm doing here, what I'm doing, and you're not going to bump into anything. So to start with, I'm just come down onto the floor, feet hit width apart, and just get the timer going and then we can actually start. So feet hit width apart, knees up, and if you take your hand, just place it under the small of your back. There should be a slight gap. So all you want to do is let your hands slide under either side. Brace your abs and apply a little bit of pressure to the fingertips, uh, sorry, to the backs of the fingers, but without pushing the fingers into the floor. And what we're going to start with is a simple up, up, out, out, in, in, down, down. You ready? So it's front leg, back leg, both together, both in, and then back down. Back leg, up, up, extend out, bracing your abs. Keeping the pressure on the hands. Good. So you'll notice that as you extend the legs out, the back wants to lift away from the hands. You're going to brace your abs and prevent that happening. Go on, this is the last one. Well done. Okay, moving into the upper body. Basic crunch up and down, sliding the lower ribs towards the hips so you shorten that distance there. Hands. Elbows out and back, up and down. So we're just nice and easy up. Lift and down. Good. All right, we're gonna change the tempo. Quick up and hold at the top. So we go up, hold, hold, down. Up, hold, hold, down. Keep your elbows back if you need to. Just reduce the load a little. Last one. Okay. We're going to put them together now. So we're going to lift the upper body and lift the legs. So it's going to be up, up, brace the abs, extend out, extend in, and then lower down. Then we start with the opposite leg. So it's up, in, and down, back leg. So lift, lift, leg. Out together, brace the abs. Now, if you're finding it hard and your back's lifting away from the floor, instead of pushing out, push more up. The higher you go, the easier it is, the less load in the muscle. Conversely, if you want to make it harder, extend closer to the floor, but notice how much harder you have to brace. Oh, well done. Good job. Right, working the obliques now. Cross crawl, shoulder to opposite knee. One, two, three, hold, and then we switch sides. We start on the short lever here. So go, one, two, hold. Go, one, two, hold. You wanna make it harder? Extend there, hold. Ah. It's getting tough now. So remember you can drop back to that. Try and keep the upper body lifted and focus on elbow to opposite knee. Come on, we'll get one more in. And relax. Whew, 
Okay, glutes at the back now. I'm gonna lift up, halfway down, up, all the way down. Heels about a foot, your foot distance away here. So we go up, up, halfway down, squeeze the butt all to the top and then all the way down. The key, squeezing the butt from the bottom, keeping it squeezed through the movement, driving the heels into the floor. We got the movement, go and squeeze it right to the top. Okay, now we've got it. Can we speed it up and go double time? Here we go, so we go up, halfway, up and down. Each time you lift, try and squeeze the glutes, the butt harder. And don't drop as low at the top. The smaller you make it, the more we get into the glutes. Go on, three more. Keep going. Lift the hips a little closer to the ceiling by squeezing the butt more. Last time. Well done. Okay, rolling over. Plank position. So start knees on the hips, hands on the shoulders, brace the abs and come up so a straight line through the torso and the legs. We're going to walk the hands forward, forward, back, back. Ready? Forward, forward. So it's a double walk forward and a double walk back. If you need to, you can do it off your knees, but the key is to ensure that your hips and your shoulders stay level all the way through the movement. Can you try and walk a bit further? Notice how hard it, how much harder it is. Oh, and you have to brace the middle a little bit more. And rest. Whew, just roll it out. We're gonna do the same but with the other hand leading this time. Walk, 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 walk. Key, brace the abs. Imagine being punched, you brace, that's what you hold all the way through the movement. Knees or toes? So as I said before, notice, the further your hands go forward, the more you've got to brace the midsection and you should feel it more. Travel on your toes if you can. Good. Try not to rock the body. How far can you go on this one? Whew. Well done. All right, staying with working this front swing system. Hover this position on the floor. Elbows under shoulders, forearms down, fists together. I'm going to go forward, out, and then salute. Knees or toes. So it's forward, diagonal, salute, and open. Salute again. Then come forward and in. Do it again. Forward, out, double salute. From the diagonal, forward and back. Try and turn the thumb up on the way forward and out. Then you can go palm down. Keep bracing the abs. Remember, if you can do it off your toes, that's fine. But we're not, we're not allowing the body to twist. Pushing the forearm into the floor. Whew. Guess what's next? Exactly the same on the other side. Really, really brace here to stop the body twisting. So again, knees or toes, you choose. Ah, sorry, that's the calf side that I can't do. Forward, out, salute. Good. if you need to take a little break, that's absolutely fine. Keep pushing that forearm into the floor to give you greater stability. This is the last one. Oh, nice one. Rolling onto the back, we're gonna work the obliques. We did it earlier on as part of the warm-up. Cross crawl. If you wanna make it harder, extend the legs out. Keep the upper body lifted, just twist. Shoulder to opposite knee, here. Again, go at your own pace. It's your choice. The more you extend, the more those muscles have to work to keep your lower back, remember, towards the floor. Don't push it into the floor, just stop it lifting away. 
Come on, keep bracing, keep twisting. If you want to go faster, you can do. Elbows back. Come on, go. Two seconds. Whew. Getting a bit warm now. Plank position. And shoulder width. Hands under shoulders. Wide stance. Opposite tap. So again, as we take the hand away, the body wants to drop. Your job is not to let it by bracing here. Anytime you need or as an option, this is absolutely fine. You're still working the same muscles, it's just not as intense. You're better doing it properly and building up and then maybe trying a few. Trying one maybe and then dropping back down, whatever works for you. Similar thing, walking down onto the forearms. Alternating arms, forearm down, elbows under shoulder, walk back up, switch sides. Good, keep the head looking straight down, just behind the fists. Knees is fine, as I keep saying, it's your workout, you take the option that works for you. Come on, 10 seconds. Go on, we can do a couple more, can't we? Time to work the sides. Elbow on the shoulder, 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 elbow, on the straight line. Stack the feet, reach under. Go. Just try and reach as far behind you as you can. Because as you reach under, your hips are going to lift. So the key is to keep the hips off the floor. You need to take a slightly intense option, drop that bottom knee down. Keep going. Keep going, push the floor out into the floor. Big reach. Okay, coming straight up into the next exercise. Still working the underside here. Again, option, come down onto the knee. Lift the hips away from the floor, and when you're ready, start to lift the hips up and down. Might also feel it in the back of this arm a little bit. Push hips up and down, as well as here. Take it down if you need. Almost there. Well done. Both those exercises into the side. Starting with a side hover and the reach under. Whew. Remember, if you've got some, grab some water every now and again. Stay hydrated. Where we go. Are you keeping those hips lifted up? It's okay to actually take a complete break if you need. And just join back in when you're ready. Keep challenging your body. It will respond, it gets stronger. Well done. So again, as before, hand on the shoulder. Again, split the feet, knee or upon the toes. Up we come. Then start to lift the hip from being in a straight line to just above a straight line. So you're pulling up there. Keeping the hip away from the floor and working here. 10 more seconds. Good. Come on, you're doing really well. Ah. Whew. Knees or toes again, you know it by now. So back elbow, back knee, same side elbow, opposite elbow, same return. So it's forward, across, forward, switch. Forward, across, forward, switch. And if you can, so you're aiming the knee towards the elbow. Yeah, same side, opposite side, same side. Whew. 
Okay, what called whole stance? Knees on the hips, hands on the shoulders. Opposite arm and leg lifts. So we're in a straight line with the torso. Thumb up. That's it. Again, you're trying to make your back like a tabletop. So it's level and it's square. There's no twisting while you're doing this. As you lift the back leg, squeeze the butt. Just lift the back thigh in line with the torso. Keep the butt squeezed while you move. Another five seconds. Good job. Yep, same on the other side now. So again, bracing. Just being aware that we're not twisting either the hips or the shoulders. Make sure you change the sides. Oops, I'm just touching the sofa. Thumb up as you lift. Then a light tap down. Good. Arm and leg move in unison. I stay down to keep the neck in alignment. You squeezing your butt still? Okay, two more exercises. Down on the floor, butt squeeze, so we've got a solid base to work off. Hands out, we're gonna lift up, salute, out and down. Butt squeeze, then arch up, double salute, and down. If you can lift the arms up, that's great. If you need to, you can just hold it there while we salute, and then come down. So you're just using the floor to assist slightly without really pushing down. That's it. So we're just closing the distance there, arching up, so the chest lifts, eyes staying down. All right, last exercise, skydiver. Knees apart, heels together. I want you to squeeze the butt and squeeze the heels together. Palms out in front like some rugby posts. And all we're gonna do, try and lift the thighs off the floor. And at the same time, Lift the chest up. Imagine a skydiver, yeah? If you can't lift the thighs, just focus on the upper body, but still squeezing the buttons, squeezing the heels together. Eyes stay straight down. Come on. We're almost there. A couple more. Last one. Whew. Good job. Just come up, knees apart, hands out in front. Just sit your hips back, and stretch into the lower back, a little bit into the butt. Nice work. Whew. Cross over, keep the chest open, turn towards the inside of the knee and then just hug across. You can feel it outside of the glutes there. Okay. When you're exercising, the muscles as they're tensing and relaxing, they tighten and they can stay slightly tight so they actually shorten. So stretching just allows us to reopen them to how they were before we started working out. And if you know you're tight generally, then once you're warm it's always good to stretch because you can develop your flexibility. That will help you with quite a lot of the movements. Stretching to the shoulder here. Okay, well done. Thanks for joining me today. So again, that was a cool workout. If you're up to it, you want more of a challenge, then just go back to the beginning and do it all again. That makes it a 30 minute workout. But that in itself is great. You can combine that with some of my other workouts or some of the other workouts you do. But a really effective challenge for the core. If you'd like some personal uh, sort of tuition or advice on your technique, uh, then do get in touch with me on the number that, uh, that follows. Uh, and I'm happy to take you through some one-on-one -on -one coaching online. But ultimately, stay safe, keep well, and work out. Bye.